What's going on? We just had uh, um, the death man in. We had Frank Giles in here. And I tell you, you know, it's it's interesting when you meet a man that's, that's that close to the dead. And you're right there, you're with him. You know, it's interesting when you when you meet a man who 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 who's carried a you know that 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 fifteen inch baby, and tucked him into a car seat next to him, and driven him over there to the death grounds. It's interesting to be that close to that man and just kind of just hear his feelings. Hell, I asked him straight up. I said, "Let me put my hand on your chest." You know, let me feel the drum of the of 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 of, of death. Because when he walks in the room, baby, that's it. You were to go order for the Lord, son. You, it's time to box you up. And so, yeah, I guess I start thinking about that around this time of year. What's it going to be like when they, clo- when they roll it up one more time? You know, I tried to fake my death when I was about 20. I'll be honest. And my friend Paul called a couple people and said, hey, you know, Theo's dead. And and the shit, the crazy shit was none of them even told anybody. So we planted a couple seeds and that shit didn't even grow, bro. And then we forgot about it. You know, we was doing weed. We was doing cocaine, daddy, you know. I mean, I was anyway. I don't know if he was, but, you know, my favorite type of weed was uh cocaine. You'd see me snorting a bowl of weed, you know, get that little, that Thanksgiving for your snout, daddy. I'm talking about cocaine. Dude, I remember I had some, I had some good cocaine one time over there in Tucson, Arizona. Hell, I put two grams in my car. It was out of gas. And that bitch ran for a half an hour. The headlights wouldn't work, but hey, you can't have it all, daddy. You can't have it all. And that's God, man. But yeah, we had the death man in here. We had him right here. And it's crazy. I mean, if say fast forward 40 years from now, 80 years from now when I die. Or when I, you know, go on. I should have told, I should have put my order in. I should have said, hey, Frank, I want this. You know, I want this and this. I want the, you know, I want the, I want the strawberries and whipped cream, on, one under each arm. When I'm in that basket, daddy. And I want that wicker casket so you could still still smell me. So the ladies could still get a off of my bro loan, you feel me? But I don't know. It's tricky. How do you want to go? Cremated is too much. I don't want to be. You know, I worked one day as a damn uh chef's apprentice over at um uh over at Roadhouse Cafe or whatever that shithole was. Um, Link, lo- I don't know what it was, dude. They were supposed to be selling char grilled steaks, but the FDA showed up and popped them and got them. They were selling, um, they were selling Ill- illegal uh, meat. You know, they had to hit a raft in there. They had to hit a pony or something. You know, the, some of the shit they were selling was illegal meat. And that's the second time in my life I've been popped at a joint where they're selling illegal. You know, I was out in Tucson, Arizona, and they had this little chef fella named Little Scotty, and they popped him, and he wore a big-ass hat, too heavy for his neck. And you would see him kind of like this a little bit. And the, the hat was so damn heavy, it would close his eyelids, man. But, you know, when you're a chef, they don't give you like a medallion. You know, some things they give you a medallion if you do well. But a chef, they give you a big hat. Looks kind of like an like an atomic bomb explosion shape. And he was so damn proud. And I think his daddy thought he was bigger. And his daddy hadn't seen him in a while. And his daddy got him a too heavy of a hat for his little neck. And so he had that big bastard on there. And he could barely keep his eyes open with that heavy bitch on there. But they... uh. Yeah, they got but they were selling illegal seafood, and I remember the FDA showed up and popped everybody, dude. You know, some dude asking me if I know about shrimp, bitch. I don't know about shit. I'm a bus boy, okay. And they need bread on eight right now. 
So don't try to tangle me up all in this little mermaid bullshit. Good evening, good afternoon, and other times. Thanks for watching that video you just saw. I mean, it was okay. But the next video you could watch could be way better. What if you watch a video right now that changes your life? Well, you could. Watch this one. Or watch this one. Watch this one. Watch this one. Watch this one. Ah!